Welcome to Modular Classroom. In this video, we are going to see about an online teaching tool that is interactive presentation tool called as Mentimeter. And we will see the demo of how to use this tool for online teaching. Since with the increasing need for the remote learning, teachers are trying to keep their students engaged and connected in many ways. One such way is a Mentimeter that it can be used to teach and connect remotely with the students. You can engage the students whenever, wherever by using live polls, word cloud, multiple choice questions, quiz questions, etc. Now we will see how to use it. So this is the first screen of this Mentimeter. So before coming into this screen, just go to Google, type as Mentimeter. And click this link in Mentimeter interactive presentation software. First time it will, if you're not uh, been registered, it will so display as a sh uh, sign up. But if I, uh, I have already registered, so your presentations directly it will, it is in my account, so it is displaying as your presentation. Just click on your presentation after you have registered it. This is how the screen looks like this presentation and here you have to click new presentation. I have to give the name for this presentation. I am giving demo. Click create presentation. You will be taken to another screen where you have to create the question and answer, multiple choice question, live polls, open ender question, scale, etc. Like what? Since it is named as presentation, it has been dealing with slides. So this is your first slide. Uh, you have to choose the slide type like multiple choice or word cloud or open ended scales, ranking, image choice, question and answer, etc. If it has been question and answer means the queries and questions can be discussed here and it can be explained and clarified to the students. Uh, since the track you can able to track learning and understanding by asking questions and downloading that results So yeah, since the, in this first slide I'm going to choose the slide type. That is the first step. I may choose any question any type multiple choice first. I'm choosing that Here you have to type the question see to the right side There will be three tabs the first is what we selected the question type the second one is content we have to give inside the content of the particular multiple choice question and third tab is customize customize means it is mainly the features that are available in customize is available only in the paid version so we just concentrate on the second tab content here multiple choice i am going to give the question as some I'm giving the option And next, after uh, typing the question, I can able to choose the result layout also. Result layout in the sense how the question should arise to the uh, participants or the students. That is, it should display as a bar or down net or pie chart or dots. Anything you can choose. I'm choosing here as bars. And you can also choose this option. You want to uh, display the correct answer or you have to show the result in the percentage or let participants uh, choose multiple options like this whatever you want you can choose and to enable this question to show correct answer if I enabling this means automatically there will be a checkbox here so that you can able to click that uh, option as the correct one you can set this option as correct so RAM means read random access memory so I am clicking this setting this this is the correct answer Likewise, I have designed the first slide as a multiple choice question. 
now I'm moving to the second slide. If I need, I can design. So I'm clicking add slide. Here I can choose again the any type of question what I want. So second I am choosing word cloud. Word cloud is nothing but you may uh, see the design of the word cloud or you may be familiar <coughs> with this design. It will display like this. So I'm choosing that question for my second one. My question is familiar video conference conferencing tools that the user may know. Uh, here next option is entries per participants. Uh, if I set to 3 means user can say 3 or if I change to 4. By default it is 3. I am changing to 4. That's all. So two types of questions I have decided. Now I am going to share this particular present interactive presentation to the students either with the help of sharing with if I choose a share option uh, I can able to uh, give that link to the students by presentation sharing I can copy this link to the students or else just directly if I give the present the this particular code that displays here will be given to the students they can able to use that code and they can vote the answers so after designing your presentation in this Mentimeter, you can use this as online teaching. The first step is you have completed by giving the presentation by using word clouds, multiple choice, etc. Now, the second option is you have to choose any one of the video conferencing platform like Google Meet, Zoom, WebEx, GoToMeeting, anything that you want to uh, set up for that meeting. Because Mentimeter is compatible with any screen sharing software. So you can choose any one of them and you have to share the code, share the screen and let the people or the students connect to your presentation wherever they may be and ask, giving by the code, you can able to get their answers. So start presenting and interacting with your students. Uh, send this presentation link to your students or they can go to menti.com and use this code to enter. Students can now connect, follow this presentation, vote and interact with you. You can see how many students are connected with the presentation at the bottom right of the screen. So now I am using uh, this code and I am entering. Just bear with it. Now I am entering. See, one of the participants has uh, entered and I uh, have given the answer as random access memory. So, I have to wait for some other students also to enter so that I can move to the next question. See, there are totally three participants have uh, enrolled here and two of them have given the answer as random access memory and one have given us read only memory. So, two means the graph is being higher because among three, two have given this answer. It has been in the peak and one has given the answer as read only memory. So, only now available only three participants since it is a demo. Just so, just uh, just with it. And I am going to the next slide for this uh, students to select that particular question so here just click if you go to this uh, you can see here sorry some fourth participant also entered and you can uh, click this arrow mark to go to the second question here you can give the answer familiar video conferencing tool whatever they know somebody was typing Given that somebody has given the answer as uh, 
So I'm waiting for some more answers. So second two participants have given. So this is what I have uh, received the answers from them. So I can wait for one more minute since the third person can also enter the answer for this interactive slide. So this is called as a word cloud. I am collecting the answers uh, through words that is being formed as a cloud. You may be uh, familiar with uh, some of the word clouds. Okay, that's what I have received the answer. Now I am giving escape and I am moving to my screen. Yeah. next after receiving after completing the presentation if I click on this download results it is possible if I use a paid version otherwise I can just uh, a paid version results I can able to see in a spreadsheet I can see the results if I have using the paid version else I can download this particular where interactive presentation slide as an image like this I can uh, download it as an image so that uh, I can able to refer uh, later how many students have attended this particular question how many have answered how many has not answered like this I can later I can refer for that purpose I can able to see the results else I, if I need uh, the data in an excel sheet I have to go for the paid version that is I have to upgrade my account upgrade in the sense I have to uh, buy a premium version so that's all about this Mentimeter where you can use this interactive presentations and meetings for connecting with your students wherever they are. Likewise, you can create a new presentation, you can share your questions and you can contact with your students. Thanks for watching.